Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a little sale haul. It's January, the sales are in full swing, and I finally lurked out of my little cave, my little chocolate cave, to have a look at what the sales had to offer. Now, um, I'm not really one of those Boxing Day sales people, in fact, pretty fucking hate the people that go out and to sales on Boxing Day, because I really feel for the poor people that are working in the shops, serving the greedy people that feel the need to go out on Boxing Day. I have had to work Boxing Day when I have had family to see and I missed out on it because I had to go to work and it was shit. I had no say in it, it was shit. A lot of other people work on Boxing Day as well, like the emergency services and stuff, but you know, that they have a point to their job. They're saving people and whatever, but people that have to go to work just to serve the greed. So I left it a while before I ventured out. A few of the things that I bought are were luckily in the sale when I wanted to buy them, and the other ones were purely sale finds. Put my hands up to that. So I'm gonna start with the one that I'm going to wear throughout the video, because I really like it. This is a coat that I got from Topshop. You may have seen it on some of my social posts recently. And the, 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 the story of this coat goes, I went into Topshop a few weeks ago with Connor. I saw it, tried to drag myself away because I already had like a leopard print fur coat. And I was like, no, do not. Then I went out for breakfast with, with Matthew and we popped our head into Topshop just to have a look like how things were going. And I saw it on the sale rail and screamed a bit. And especially when I saw how much it was, it was it was full price, this was 89. Sale price, this was 45 pounds. And I was like, I don't even care that I've got another leopard print coat. But to be fair, my other leopard print coat, the print is like proper leopard print. Whereas this is sort of just a general animal print. And it's just super cool. I've worn it like loads. So I thought, oh, well, I'm in Topshop now. I might as well have a look whilst I'm here. Maffy is pretty cool to go shopping with. Like, he's totally fine with it. In fact, he's like, he helped me out and it's really nice. I'll show you the, the jewelry. And this first gold necklace I saw on my friend Bonnie at a wedding. And I asked her, where the hell did you get that piece of finery? And she said it was from Topshop uh, ages ago. So luckily, to my luck, I got it. And it's this, it sits on your, I'm gonna have to take this coat. It sits on your neck like that. So it's like a choker. But it's just fabulous. I wore it on New Year's Eve. It's almost quite goddess-like, I feel. The other one I got, which was half price, is this blinging one. And it's just this really nice, like, diamondy one here. Obviously not real diamonds. Can you imagine how much that'd be if that were real diamonds? Fuck. Yeah, on a nice little black ribbon. Thought that was very, very cool. The next two things also from Topshop. And this top, I'm now, now I have it. I'm not quite sure about it, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna try and style it up quite cool. And it's this high neck lacy top with like silver details biker chick gothic yeah but now i'm looking at it again i don't mind it i think i could style that up all right and it's high neck and i like high neck and like this bit is sort of see-through the next thing that i got is a dress i saw this in top shop ages ago and was like oh i want that but i never i never purchased it and it's a high neck longish sleeve dress which is just goes down there and it's sort of like a bodycon i suppose and it's a really nice glitter and full price it was 36 and i got it for 20 pounds and it's got a zip that goes down the back. I feel like that is a ver very versatile dress. I could dress that down with maybe a pair of white trainers or dress it up with tights and some heels. Who knows? The next thing I got was from ASOS and it's a kimono, sort of damask print on the kimono, sort of see-through and it has kind of longish arms and that's it really. It's just that there's no tassels or anything on it. Just thought it looked really nice. I went through a massive kimono phase like a couple of summers ago and I really thought this was sweet so I thought why not. I popped into the Dr. Martin store in Norwich and I saw some I liked and there was no one to stop me. No, Connor's not very good at stopping me of buying things. He just stands there. We'd been ice skating um, and then <laughs> it was near the end the ice skating rink. I got these, these brown Dr. Martins. I've got the black shoe version, not in the soft leather, but the, the classic Dr. Martin shoe. Wore them literally throughout December. And then I saw these and was like, oh, I fancy a brown version. So I got a brown version and a really nice soft leather. Ooh. And they were like 
60 pounds, which I thought was very, very good. I got another pair of shoes from ASOS as well, actually. These stood out to me because, well, I, they just did. These are from a brand called Bronx. Now, I know from my shoe background that Bronx is a pretty damn good brand for shoes. And these are these awesome silver brogues with like this nice natural trim round it. Thought they were super duper cool. Really good reduction, can't remember the price of them. And I just love Bronx, I don't know what they're made of. Yeah, they're leather, leather, synthetic. And they're made in Portugal. So very, very nice shoes, love these. And the last thing I got was actually the thing that I wasn't, didn't think was gonna be in the sale, but it was in the sale. I basically wanted these for ages and I finally got around to getting a pair just cause it was like, Oh, why the fuck not? Um, they are the GHD's Platinum um, Eclipse, I think they're also called. Uh, my sister has a pair, and that's the reason why I wanted some, because she has some. I've used them around hers a few times, and they have been amazing. Like, they leave my hair so soft. The straightness lasts for ages. Tri-zone technology. Basically, it means it straightens your hair at a lower temperature, but it evens out the heat, so it, you still get the best results, which means it's gonna be better for your hair than just nuking it at like 220 degrees, which, when you think about it, it's absolutely mad that that is the heat that we put on our hair. Yeah, and they're really cool. They make a really cool noise when you turn them on. They look like this. You get a little heat guard with them, and they're like that. So yeah, that's my little sale thing. I did, you know what, I have been scouring the internet to find some bargains, but this year, like not that much stood out to me. Literally, everything that I've got here is what I've wanted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.